It's a little bit lukewarm. Peppermint tea, good for the soul. Oh my God, look at this. I hope that we are all doing okay. Today, me and Sam, we were gonna go to Hay on Wye, which is the UK's largest book town. We've been before, about two years ago now, I wanna say, and I did really enjoy it. It's a really cute little town, loads of bookshops, about an hour and a half away from us, and I wanted to go again, do some book shopping, shoot some content, you know just have a nice chill day but the weather is not playing ball like it is horrid yeah we were going to take the dogs to hay on Wye with us and if it's throwing it down they will never forgive us they hate going out in the rain because it's a dog friendly town and you can take most dogs into the bookshops when we went two years ago we took willa with us this was before we had Scylla, and it was really nice so we would want to take the dogs again but not not if it's raining. So we are still gonna go at some point. That'll be another video for another time. But today we've just decided to head into Cheltenham, which is like about 20 minutes away from us and just go, <laughs> go and do some shopping. Um, and I wanna go into Waterstones, do some book shopping, just have a browse, you know, see what's about. I don't really know why I'm straightening my hair because it's meant to be raining on and off all day and it's gonna turn into a frizz, but I can't leave it like this because it's giving Tarzan. So I thought I'd film a come spend the day with me type thing. We'll go into Cheltenham, have a browse at the shops, go into Waterstones. The WH Smith in Cheltenham is pretty decent as well. It's not like the one in my local town, which is uh, grim. But yeah, I just, I just feel like treating myself and spending some money. So I'm gonna carry on straightening my hair. I need to get changed because <laughs> I can't go out dressed like a road man. These are my indoor clothes. So we'll head into town today, do some shopping, maybe have some lunch in town, I don't know, see how we're feeling, and then come back. I've got no plans tonight. Cook some dinner, do some reading. I might start another book. I'm currently in the middle of, oh, what's it called? The last book in the Wallflower series by Lisa Klapas, Claypass. I really need to look up how you say that woman's name. That is not straight. <laughs> but I feel like starting something new today. Maybe another historical romance. All I've wanted to read is historical romance because it makes me feel closer to my gran because she really liked historical romances. She loved Catherine Cookson, Mills and Boone. Oh, crikey, get the violin out. Nee, 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 nee. Maybe I'll start another one of those. I don't know, I don't know. I'm just gonna go with the flow. Anyway, I should probably stop chatting so much and get on with straightening my hair because in a second, he's gonna be shouting upstairs to me saying, what are you doing? I wanna go. Me, 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 me. <laughs> I think that'll do because it's probably gonna rain and then I will turn into a frizz ball anyway. There we go, that is what my makeup consists of. Just filling in my eyebrows a little bit with pencil. Now I need to decide what to wear. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna wear. I have no idea why I'm showing you what I'm wearing because this isn't a fashion account and I have zero sense of style. But part of spending the day with me is watching me choose what to wear. So here you are, this is what you signed up for. Also, please ignore the hoovers and the carpet cleaner in the background and the waterstones bag. <laughs> Our built-in wardrobes are broke. So as soon as my father-in-law and Sam um, fix the wardrobes. I'm going to hoover in here and clean the carpets because they just randomly broke. I don't even know how it happened. Look at the state of it. But this is your reminder that not every house is aesthetically pleasing on social media. Anyway, so I've just gone for leggings, my docks and like this roll neck jumper oversized one with, is this a shacket? Yeah, this is a shacket over the top because although the sun keeps coming in and out, it is meant to rain all day today and yesterday it was freezing. Because that's the thing, I know that I'm giving autumnal vibes, but I'll take that over being cold any day. So this is the look that I am going for. Oh my god. Oh, and by the way, that's a rubbish bag. It's just filled with rubbish. There's no books. That was from another time. I've just noticed as well that I have um something down these leggings. I don't know what that is. But am I getting changed? Absolutely not. Anyway, I need to finish my tea and then we better get going.
long got back and we've been out all day. It's like half past six now. It's nearly dark outside. And we didn't even go to that many shops. We went to Shoe, we went to Waterstones, we went to WH Smith, we went to Next. We had lunch. We did go to the garden center though after and we did go to Morrison's to pick up some bits. But I still don't feel like that makes up what is nearly five hours. Time just runs away from you. Anyway, I did pick up some books in Waterstones, which I will show you. And I put them in the shoe bag. My husband bought a pair of trainers in shoe and I didn't buy a Waterstones bag because I'm trying to be a sustainable girl. She says, having just bought books. I know, I know, I see the hypocrisy, don't you worry. Anyway, enough of my nonsense. Um, I bought three books. Did I say I bought three books? There you go, I bought three books. So these are the books that I bought. So first book that I bought was My Dark Romeo. This is a book that I've already read. I read it last year, really enjoyed it, um, gave it four stars. Recently read My Dark Desire, which was a five star read. No, 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 no. It was an infinity star read. But I know at some point I will definitely want to reread My Dark Desire and My Dark Romeo. My Dark Romeo first and then My Dark Desire ofs. I saw this, thought I'd pick it up um, because I know that day will come. And also I think this is one of the most beautiful covers I have ever seen. It is stun, 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 stun. So that was the first book that I picked up. And then the second book that I picked up was Bridgerton, The Duke and I. I have watched the TV series, loved it. I'm up to date on all of the seasons. And I never ever do this. If I have watched the film or watched the TV series, I won't then go back and read the books. I have to read the books first and then watch it on screen. I can never fully get into the book if I've already watched the film or I've watched the TV series. However, it was a long, long time ago now that I watched the first season. I feel like enough time has passed since then and it's okay for me to pick up the book and I can't really remember what happens. But also the books themselves they're not that long this is just over 300 pages. So that is the second book that I picked up and then the third book is Mad Honey by Jodie P. Cult Piku? I don't know how you say her name. So this is one of my 12 in 12 recommendations. So over on Instagram, I'm doing a challenge where 12 friends recommend 12 books to you. And the idea is, is that you read one recommendation each month for the entire year. And I know that this is one of the books that someone has recommended to me. Never read anything by this author, but I have heard really good things about this. That's the only thing I can say about it because I don't know anything else. I don't know if it's a thriller. I don't know if it's a romance. Yeah, all I know is that it's mad honey. So they are the three books that I picked up in Waterstones and oh my God, whilst we were in there, a member of staff came up to me and said, excuse me, you're not allowed to film in this store. He didn't explain why I couldn't film. And to be honest, I didn't ask. I was just like, yeah, okay, whatever. I didn't want to stand there and argue with him because in my local Waterstones, I filmed in there before and they didn't say anything to me. But for some reason, there's a problem in Waterstones Cheltenham. Of course, Sam was mortified and embarrassed beyond belief because he gets embarrassed embarrassed so quickly. He was like, oh my God, we've got to leave, we've got to leave. I said, like, chill out, man. It's not that much of a big deal. Luckily, I managed to get enough footage and he didn't tell me like right at the start, as soon as we walked in there, that I wasn't allowed to film. Whatever, I won't be going back in there. I wasn't that impressed with the selection, I must say. I feel like it's a very pretty store, but did it have the widest selection? <laughs> WH Smith was rubbish. I don't even know why I bother going in there. They had nothing. But I'm pleased with the three books that I got. And actually I could have spent a lot more money <laughs> if you'd have pushed me. Anywho, so that's been the day so far. Are you not entertained? I need to go and walk the dogs uh, if it stops raining and then I'm gonna cook some dinner. And then I think I'm gonna start a new book. I'm actually thinking I might start this, you know. I think this is what I'm in the mood for. <laughs> we'll see how I feel after I've walked the dogs and I've eaten.
looking like an olive dipped in brine, just the way I like it before bed. Skincare is done, nightly routine is done, and it's time for me to go to bed. I am now roughly 30 pages into uh, The Duke and I, and I am enjoying it. I mean, I'm only 10% in, that could very well change, but so far so good. And it's coming back to me now, who is who, the Bridgertons, how many of them are there? Daphne was the first one to get married and obviously Lady Whistledown. So it's kind of nice in a way that I've already got that familiar familiarity. Familiarity. That's how you say it, isn't it? Fam familiarity. 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 Is she just saying that with an accent though? Familiarity. Familiarity. Oh, I don't know. I need to go to bed. Yeah, so I'm familiar with the family, the siblings, the set in the world. Yeah, and I'm not bored by that. It's quite nice to know who is who and yeah. And one of my favourite things about historical romance is the subtext. So much is implied, so much is underhand, there's so much underlying meaning, so many subliminal messages. Do you know what I mean? They never say what they truly mean, especially the women. There's always so much hidden meaning and yet you understand exactly what they are saying. You understand what they're trying to convey. As I said, the subtext, it's in everything that they're not saying with what they are saying. Oh my god, I just love it. So I'm gonna go and get into bed now, resume in my reading. But today has been a successful day. I am really tired now. I didn't wear my watch today, but I reckon I've definitely done over 10,000 steps. I've been a walking girly, and buying books has made me feel better. I definitely feel better at the end of the day compared to what I did at the start of the day. But the exhaustion is starting to take hold and I'm struggling to get my words out. So I'm gonna go to bed, but thank you so much for watching. I'm going to head back to Regency London and I will see you some other time.